Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie Weiss, and I am here to help you navigate the cesspool that is middle-age dating. Today, I want to talk about respect. I am dedicating this little episode to my partner of almost four years, Randall, because he's always told me that respect is the most important element in any relationship. Respect. And he specifically told me that when relationships with other women didn't work out in his past, it was often due to a lack of respect, among other matters like complete incompatibility. But I thought it gave me a helpful male perspective, the, the use of that particular word. And it made sense to me for this reason. For a lot of us who are single again, we've been in long marriages. For example, I was with my late husband for 32 years. I knew him since I was seven. By the time we were together for a while, there were no surprises. So I was you know, pretty courteous. It's like I knew what he liked, what he didn't, and he was pretty used to me. But what's interesting when you get together with somebody later is they're pretty new to you. I mean, I've only known Randall four years. A couple of those were, were spent pretty much dating. So we don't know each other real well. And you have to be careful what you say when you're getting to know someone. You know, for example, and this isn't true to life, you know, if the guy you're dating says, I hate string beans, you're not going to say, well, only children hate string beans. Why don't you put on your big boy pants and eat some? You, know, you can't say that. You have to be a little more diplomatic. Well, okay. When was the last time you tried a string bean? Or, I know you like butter. Let's smother these in butter and see how that goes. You have to kind of come from the place that kids' opinions might be valid. And for someone like me, who's an ex-lawyer, that can be hard. I also think respect is the most neglected element of online dating. So many women are so disheartened by this process, and I think so much of that can be summarized by we feel disrespected, right? You get comments like, hi, sexy, or I like your legs, or, you know, some guy just sounds pretty desperate. And basically, you feel disrespected. I mean, some of this stuff verges on rape culture. And sometimes people want to sext, they want to send photographs. I recommend against, as especially as an attorney, against anything that can be traced to your, um, to your hard drive or, or the email chain. And I think it's really important to be aware of that and to demand respect. And a lack of respect also comes up from the way we treat each other. And it's in that lack of accountability. I think we see each other only as a dating profile, not as anything three-dimensional. So you get, let, get late cancellations, you get folks who don't plan anything. And in my case, it was a lot of men who were thrilled to tell me everything that was wrong with me, even though they'd only known me a month. And again, it made me feel lesser, but I could summarize it to, I felt disrespected. And at the worst, at the worst side, you see a lack of respect in men, and maybe women too, who lie unless you're actually on the Ashley Madison site, which I never have been, for its pe which is for people who want to have an extramarital affair. So just as an aside, if you're dating someone who says something like, um, I can only talk to you when I'm at my office between 12 and noon, really, you want to say, are you married? Oh, okay, well, then, you know, try calling them and see what happens. I really recommend pushing this. I remember a guy who contacted me online, explained he was a doctor, he was afraid his patients would see him online. And then he had to communicate by email wherein he sent me a topless photograph of himself with scrubs on the bottom. And I was probably felt more bemused than disrespected, but this was not a good, truthful, respectful platform to start a relationship. Contact me and I will DM you his photos. That's what I meant about not, not transmitting stuff over the internet. So the best thing you can do when you feel a lack of respect is speak up. I've said this before. We women, at least of my generation, and uh, I'm 58, we were raised to be inoffensive, to go along, to be empathetic, to say, oh, oh, okay, well, you want to meet at midnight, and I wanted to meet at 7, so I'll come to your house at 1030. Does that work? No, you don't have to do that. And three words will help you. I feel disrespected and move on. Other words that are helpful, I am not comfortable with that. I use that a lot, especially with a 30-year-old who wanted me to like 
send Never mind. It involved it involved being on a video and not being fully clothed. And I didn't know this person. And now I don't like millennials. Um, it reminds me of this all reminds me of when I was an attorney. And again, I was raised inoffensive, pleasant, and I had trouble when I would argue with other lawyers because I don't like confrontation. I can barely even say confrontation. So I had to learn to say I take exception to that. And that was my phrase I would use if I was offended by another attorney. I thought they were being inappropriate, particularly if I wasn't swift enough to say exactly why I thought they were off was I take exception to that. So the point I'm trying to make is a lot of online dating is offensive. You have every right to ask for the respect that you want. You need to demand it. And if someone isn't giving it to you, you just say, I feel disrespected, and you move on. Their loss. I'm Debbie Weiss, and I hope to help I hope I helped you navigate the cesspool that is middle-aged dating. Until next time. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.